Hello ladies, Penny here. Um, this first little video I'm doing is really just a show and tell. Uh, show and tell, is that right? Um, I have shown it on Facebook, but um, these of you who don't know me on Facebook really. Uh, I've been trying to clear up some projects. You know what you start and you never finish. Well, I'm trying this year to finish all my... There's just upstairs, there's still a few more. So this was a mirror and it's a clothes brush. I, I wasn't able to get the um, hair brush, didn't come with it. It was only from a charity shop. So I thought I'd have a go at putting showers on it. You know me, I love working with showers and that. So that's the mirror. And... That's the back. If you look on Facebook, you can see it was it was just plain plastic back. It was um, nothing special at all. It was just a a gold a goldy colour, cream and gold plastic back. So I did this one first. I thought I'll start with the small one, see how I go. Um, now on this one, I actually painted gold metallic paint underneath um, first. Well, mod not much pushed it, I put some um, gesso on first to give it a base and then I put gold metallic paint on but as I was working it I decided I wanted to fill it all in with um, this nice uh, glitter very fine um, turquoise glitter so it was a bit pointless me doing it um, gold really so anyway we carried on so this was a silver mermaid i uh, got from ebay you know you get a little collection and um so i bronzed her up gold her up a little bit and put a little bit of sparkle in her hair i used um ink of gold on her here in i think two or three colors a bit of the turquoise in her tail um it's like an old silver rather than gold on her body hair and then I just put a little bit of um oh god you know poor glitter on her hair um and carried on with my showers and um it was quite fun finding which ones would fit where and what have you I quite enjoyed doing that um and I found a pearl which she had just a ring in her hand, um, she was holding a ring, so I just popped a pearl on that. Um, I got some of these lovely shells actually from um, EIM Bragging when we <laughs> went to the Caribbean last year and um, I, b I bought a, a small bag of um, pretty shells and that. Um, there's some little heart shapes actually that I made myself from um, polymer clay so it was just in a trinket box so I just thought I'd use that um, and that's another heart but that's um, acrylic, a, a pink acrylic heart I didn't want to put too many colours in I was trying to keep it neutral as possible or natural um, along with the shells there is some tiny little stones as well and off eBay, I also got, um, you know, nail equipment and uh, the, these tiny little emblems, these tiny, tiny little shells you see here, yeah, tiny little shells, etc. They're fr from nail art, you know, you meant to put them on your nails when you're on holiday or whatever. So I've used them up here and I think they went very well there. Um, there she's rising up to the surface with a pearl she's found at the bottom of the sea. So, and then have a little tiny starfish down there, you see, things like that. So, I just save everything I could possibly save and um, it comes in handy one day. So, as I say, it was, um, I put all the glitter on, unfortunately some of the glitter, but I don't think it matters, we're on a couple of the shelves, but you can't 
not do it, if you know what I mean. You'd have to cover every shell and every element. So I don't think I did too bad. And then I just gave her a nice, um, a nice brush up and a polish up afterwards. So that was uh, that one. And I didn't want to do mermaid again because I also had some uh, oct octopusy. The octopusy by the sea. So again, he was silver. And again, you know, I've used ink gold and I think I used also some um, uh, uh, ink, alcohol ink on it. So just did a bit of this and that until I got it the way I like it. And uh, I don't think he looks bad at all. So not much different, just picking out the shells. Um, the only thing I have done, which I'm not sure about, um, by the way, I, I, I didn't use hot glue on this at all, um, very, very little if I did. Um, I did want them to stay on, so um, I used um, oh, E6000, which is quite messy because it gets strings everywhere worse than blinking glue, glue gun, for me anyway. <laughs> so but I didn't want them to, you know, fall off or anything. So... That took a bit more time, but time is what we've got, isn't it, at the moment? So, um, so there we go. And I put the odd sequins in as well, tiny little turquoise sequins. And you can see these tiny little shells again. Uh, and look, there was one little, um, what do you call him? He's not a terrapin, is he? I think he's meant to be a turtle or might be a terrapin. So I've stuck him on a little stone there. I think he looks proper cute there so but one thing I did do I was sort of saying afterwards I wanted to glaze it you know to protect it really well the shells and that and I actually the only one I could find in my room was um triple triple gloss which is very good stuff but it has turned the shells slightly yellow in places so um I'm not sure, but I, I suppose it just makes it gives it a bit of an aged look. Uh, the shells were just all boiled and boiled, the ones that we collected and everything. Um, and, you know, and cleaned up and bleached and goodness knows what else to take every impurity out. And uh, and some of them I just I just put a bit of colour down down the sides and that. So I don't think it's come out too bad at all, really. And little tiny pearls I've put uh, here and there. Um, I couldn't get all of the the black off here, and I've been trying to get rid of that a bit. But it's an old mirror, is what can you expect? So that came up nicer, actually, at the sides of that one. But it's only for ornament, isn't it? Unless Chloe sees it, of course, you know what I mean? She'll think it's made for her, won't she? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's either for her or for her mum. She thinks what I made. Is that for my mum? No, it's for me. No, it's for my mum. I want to make one for my mum. And she's coming next week, so we'll be crafting again together, I dare say. So that's that project, ladies. Um, I hope you like it. It's, it has been on Facebook, but... Uh, I've not shown it on YouTube, so now I have them. To... So that's that. And while I was upstairs, I, I did this last year, I think, one of my mini eggs. Um, but I'd used, like, real moss, if you know what I mean. Um, and it'd gone all dry and brittle, which I suppose it does. So I thought, well, it's a good clean out. So I pulled everything out and started again. Um, and I had, didn't have them last year, these little pink blossom trees. So I used them. The little houses I made, uh, can you see in that? The little houses I made from polymer clay. And I've stuck a bit of blossom around the front. A little bit of gold glittery in the windows. Moss on the roof. Um, I made the little toadstools from polymer clay, and there's a little 
that if you can see him a little tiny tiny um, ladybird and just glittered up a few flowers along the way I don't think there's anything else in there, oh, it shouldn't be there no toadstools, I did try I think a rabbit in this one but he was a bit too big so I didn't, so that's the back and uh, and that's the front <laughs> <laughs> and just a little ribbon and a, and a thing. So it's a nice little sp spring ornament. And I just had this um, matchbox. And that looked worse to wear. It was just had eggs in it and a little chicken goodness knows what out. So I had a little play with that as well. And um, I guess Chloe would like to take this one home maybe. So this one again. Tiny little toadstools. A little house. Uh, artificial plastic, I think it was meant to be lavender, white, is it white, la white lavender I think it was, so a little sprig of that and um, yeah, I just decorated it around and there's a little rabbit at the top and uh, I coloured up the leaves because they were white so I just used uh, ink pens on them and um, put a little base on it and that, that's my little uh, matchbox. <laughs> so that's all I've got to show you today, ladies. But I will give you a little taste of what I've been up to the um, last few days and that. Uh, uh, these, I've been doing a little tutorial on these. I thought there was another one I was going to show you, but as usual, I've not got it. Is that it? Yeah, here's some here. These little lavender bags. Very soft, very natural. No sequins or really embroidery on them or anything. Um, what we've done is... Uh, we've done, I've done. It's just plain white sh cream sheeting and then I've stamped it with normal stamping ink and then coloured it in with, um, what do you call them, pencils. I'll, 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 I'll tell you. I will tell you. Uh, let's get a couple of those out. I've just coloured them in with... Uh, Ink tents, that's it, and it ink tents, and I think there was a couple of loud. Uh, that's a pencil, though, pen, and you didn't use that because that's a charcoal. But anyway, ink pens and some watercolour pencils as well. But you're not going to wash them. I know it's not waterproof, but you know you're not going to wash them because there's lavender in, so you wouldn't wash them anyway. So it's just um, little things to put under your pillow in your drawer or whatever else it is where you keep that's a bit of a more of a man one um you know because uh i know my son he he likes uh, lavender so he's already pinched one he had one with cats on it so he, that one's gone um but as i say these are just stamps and then i've added a little fun thing there like the sun and some words enjoy your day or uh, things like that. Now I got the idea from a lovely lady, I'm just watching the time, I got the idea from a lovely lady on YouTube called Julie Sows, Julie Sows she's called and um, I know she has her own little like cabin um, place near where she lives you know where she sells things like a little shop near the near the river I think it is so I thought these are lovely and I, you know I mean I've done lavender things before but I usually embroider um you know lavender you know on plain and that and it takes a long time it really does so these are fun these are cheap and um, and they're easy and they're fun to do. So that's what I've been doing, ladies. And I will show you how I did it on the next video. So, oh, it smells lovely in this kitchen. Poor Art, he had his table back, kitchen table back for about um, 
<laughs> I don't know, two days and I was lost it again because I, br I brought out the, the sewing machine, look. But one reason why I need it out, which he won't mind, I'll show you. I've been buying um, some nice material. That's where he took me, you know, Valentine's Day. Yeah, he took me out last night. And he went to Dunham Mill. <laughs> And I bought this lovely material. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see it? Oh, absolutely loves hairs. We've got uh, like hair ornaments in um, in the caravan and what have you. And I bought him a pair of silver cufflinks that were hairs. And he's it's, it's just got this thing, I think, about hair. So he's very pleased that I've actually chose something for the kitchen and what he likes. So they're going to be made into a curtain and also part cushions hopefully and um, if I ever get it done I will show you later <laughs> at least you've seen the material so you know, you know then you know it's coming sometime so that's all for now ladies um, and I, I'm going to really really try not leave it so long for my next video uh, it's only Thursday today so I've got nothing on tomorrow so I'm going to leave everything out sorry Arthur I'm going to leave everything out and then I can um, I can show you tomorrow uh, what I've been up to thank you for watching ladies I hope you like my uh, little shell ornaments I love stewing shells so I'll speak to you soon I'm very much welcome to some new new subbies I know I've got. Thank you very much for joining us ladies. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.